Whenever I eat beans on toast, I always imagine I'm a rescue helicopter, and with every forkful, I'm airlifting tiny bald men <laughs> on a raft to safety. <laughs> Lee, what do you think? How long have you done this for? Since I was about eight. Right. Any reason you do this apart from just keeping yourself amused? It's that my auntie Bridget, who used to live with us, Yes. Is this going to be a tragic story? She's bald, <laughs> she was on a raft, she never survived, and it's our way of remembering her. She was on a raft with 400 bald men. Yeah. <laughs> Who needed Tr rescuing. Trust me, we all know your auntie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You say raft, you mean mattress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope she's not watching. Uh, she's busy, don't she, worry. She's living with <laughs> My auntie Bridget yeah. used to live in our house and she would often have to look after us if our parents were out. You know, I wasn't a good eater, I was a very skinny kid. Uh, and she used to try all sorts of stuff and this is one technique she had. She used to do all sorts of other things as well. Like what? What else would she do? <laughs> <laughs> Spaghetti was, uh, you were trying to, you know, you were throwing a, 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 like a line, a rope down to rescue people at the bottom of a pit. Uh, fish fingers were coaches. <laughs> There were coaches on the motorway. <laughs> you know, Cut the coach, chop it in half. <laughs> <laughs> she's, quite, she's quite funny, my auntie Bridget. She's quite odd. Do you think the bald men in question that were going to die on the raft were, felt glad that they'd ended in a more comfortable position of going down your throat into your stomach? Well, Did you feel that was a safer place for them? Well that, well, that was the helicopter they were coming into. Oh, your mouth was the helicopter? Yeah, my mouth is the helicopter. That's a raft going down. That's the raft. The raft is they're sitting on the fork, which is a raft. No, no, the raft, the raft the is the toast, toast surely. The toast is the raft. No, 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 because... Yeah. What's the toast? Yeah. No, the toast is the boat they were in on the ocean. <laughs> it's now covered in... Why would they be on a raft? If they're on a raft, they're already rescued. The... They're already OK. They're but already... helicopters don't lower down rafts. Oh, thanks. Well, you just ruined an entire <laughs> lifetime story for me. Another man comes attached to the rope and he picks up each individual bald man on the raft. I've seen it. Every time I've seen loads of bald men dying at sea, <laughs> and a man comes out of a helicopter and individually picks them up. So if you'd have done your backstory and you were a proper actor, you would know <laughs> that you're supposed to be taking one beat. That's what Charles Dance would have done. Yeah, he'd have taken because he does his research. Yeah, but and that's why he's not going to be the voice of Postman Bat. <laughs> So what, what do you think? think? What do we think, Charles? Think? Are we buying this story? Reluctantly, I think I am buying really? this story. You think it might be true? I do actually think it sounds quite realistic. I think that in a child's brain you might make up all of these scenarios. I don't think he was eating the beans. I mean, look at his hair. He was only eating the crust of that toast. <laughs> <laughs> we think it's true, don't we? You think we? it's yeah. true? Yeah. Charles says it's true? Yeah. I'll go on and we'll say okay. it's true. You're saying it's true. <laughs> Stephen Mangan, truth or lie? It is, in fact, a lie. Oh. <laughs>